Hey there, fellow Canadians. This is Daniel from Canada Benefit Hub, your go-to channel for all things related to Canadian government benefits and financial support. Today, we got some exciting news that could put a big smile on the faces of our senior citizens. So grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and prepare to be amazed by the latest developments in senior benefits. What if I told you that some seniors might be eligible for not just one, but two substantial payments from the Canadian government? I'm talking about a potential windfall of over $6,000 coming as soon as next week. Sounds too good to be true. Well, stick around because I'm about to break down everything you need to know about these double payments for seniors, the Enhanced Canada Pension Plan, CPP, and Guaranteed Income Supplement, GS. But before we dive in, here's a teaser. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand how these payments work, but you'll also learn about a little-known trick that could potentially boost your benefits even further. So make sure you watch until the very end. Your financial future might just depend on it. Now, let's get into the meat of the matter. The Canadian government has recently announced a significant boost to two of its most crucial senior support programs, the Canada Pension Plan, CP, and the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GS. This move is set to provide substantial financial relief to millions of Canadian seniors, with some potentially receiving up to $2,800 from CPP and an additional $3,200 from GS, all in one-time payments scheduled for next week. Let's break this down, starting with the CPP enhancement. The Canada Pension Plan, as many of you know, is a cornerstone of retirement income for most Canadians. It's designed to replace about 25% of your pre-retirement employment earnings. However, recognizing the increasing financial pressures faced by seniors, the government has decided to implement a temporary boost to CPP payments. This one-time CPP enhancement of up to $2,800 is aimed at providing immediate financial support to seniors who have contributed to the CPP throughout their working lives. The exact amount each individual receives will depend on various factors, including how long you've contributed to the CPP and the amount of your contributions. But here's the kicker. This enhancement is on top of your regular CPP payments, meaning you're getting extra cash without any reduction to your usual benefits. Now, let's talk about the Guaranteed Income Supplement, or GS. This program is a monthly non-taxable benefit for old age security, OAS pension recipients who have a low income and are living in Canada. The exciting news is that the government is also providing a one-time top-up to GIS recipients of up to $3,200. This GIS boost is particularly significant because it targets the most financially vulnerable seniors in our society. If you're currently receiving GIS, you could be eligible for this additional payment without having to apply separately. The government will use the information from your latest tax return to determine your eligibility and the amount you'll receive. But here's where things get really interesting. Some seniors might be eligible for both the CPP enhancement and the GS top-up. That's right, you could potentially receive both payments, totaling over $6,000, all at once. This double whammy of financial support could be a game-changer for many seniors struggling with rising living costs. Now, I know what you're thinking, Daniel, this sounds amazing, but what's the catch? Well, I'm happy to tell you that there isn't one. These are legitimate government initiatives designed to support our senior population. However, there are some important things to keep in mind. Firstly, eligibility criteria apply. For the CPP enhancement, you need to be currently receiving CPP retirement benefits. For the GS top-up, you must be a current GIS recipient. If you're not sure about your status, don't worry. I'll explain how to check your eligibility later in the video. Secondly, the timing of these payments is crucial. Both the CPP enhancement and GS top-up are scheduled to be distributed next week. This means you need to ensure that your information with Service Canada is up to date to avoid any delays in receiving your payments. Now, here's something that not many people know, and it's absolutely crucial if you want to maximize your benefits. There's a strategy that some seniors use to optimize their CPP and GS payments. It involves carefully timing when you start receiving your CPP retirement pension. You see, you can start receiving your CPP as early as age 60 or as late as age 70. The longer you wait, 
the higher your monthly payments will be. But here's the twist. Taking CPP earlier might allow you to qualify for more GS as GS payments are reduced based on your income, including CPP income. This means that in some cases, taking a lower CPP payment earlier and supplementing it with a higher GS payment could result in more overall income. It's a delicate balance and the best strategy depends on your individual circumstances, but it's definitely something worth considering and discussing with a financial advisor. Now, let's talk about how you can check your eligibility for these enhanced payments. The easiest way is to log into your My Service Canada account online. If you don't have an account, don't worry. I'll walk you through the process of setting one up. First, go to the Service Canada website and click on My Service Canada account. If you don't have an account, click on Register and follow the prompts. You'll need your social insurance number and some basic personal information to create an account. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to view your CPP and OAS slash GIS information. This will show you your current benefit amounts and any upcoming changes. If you're eligible for the enhanced payments we've been discussing, you should see this information reflected in your account. If you're not comfortable with online services, you can also call Service Canada directly. The number is 1-800-277-9914. Be prepared for potential wait times especially given the recent announcements. Now, I want to address a question that I'm sure is on many of your minds. What should I do with this extra money? While it might be tempting to splurge on something fun, and hey, you've earned it, I'd recommend considering a few smart financial moves. Pay off high interest debt. If you have any outstanding credit card balances or other high interest loans, this could be a great opportunity to clear them. Boost your emergency fund. Having a financial cushion is always a good idea, especially in these uncertain times. Make needed home repairs or modifications. If there are any safety improvements or accessibility modifications you've been putting off, now might be the time to tackle them. Invest in your health. Consider using some of the money for health-related expenses not covered by your insurance, like dental work or new eyeglasses. Plan for future expenses. Think about upcoming costs like property taxes or insurance premiums and set aside some of this money to cover them. Remember, this is a one-time payment, so it's important to use it wisely. Think of it as a financial boost to help improve your overall financial health and quality of life. Now, let's address some common questions and concerns about these enhanced payments. Will these payments affect my other benefits? No. These one-time payments will not affect your eligibility for other federal benefits. They're considered additional support and won't impact your regular CPP, OAS, or GS payments. Do I need to apply for these enhanced payments? In most cases, no. If you're already receiving CPP and slash or GS, you should automatically receive the enhanced payments if you're eligible. However, it's always a good idea to check your My Service Canada account or contact Service Canada to confirm. Are these payments taxable? The CPP enhancement will be taxable, just like regular CPP payments. However, the GS top-up is non-taxable, consistent with regular GIS payments. What if I live outside of Canada? If you're eligible for these payments and your address on file with Service Canada is outside of Canada, you should still receive the payments. However, make sure your information is up to date to avoid any issues. Can my payments be deposited directly into my bank account? Yes, if you have direct deposit set up for your regular CPP and GS payments, these enhanced payments will be deposited the same way. If you haven't set up direct deposit, now would be a great time to do so to ensure you receive your payments as quickly as possible. Now, here's something important to keep in mind. While these enhanced payments are fantastic news for many seniors, they're not a permanent increase to CPP or GS. They're one-time payments designed to provide immediate financial support in response to current economic challenges. This underscores the importance of having a comprehensive retirement plan that doesn't rely solely on government benefits. While programs like CPP and GS form an important foundation, it's crucial to have additional savings and income sources to ensure a comfortable retirement. If you haven't already, consider speaking with a financial advisor about strategies to maximize your retirement income. This could include things like registered retirement savings plans, RRSPs, 
tax-free savings accounts, TFSAs, and other investment vehicles designed to help you build long-term financial security. As we near the end of our discussion, I want to touch on a critical point, financial literacy and empowerment for seniors. These enhanced payments are a great opportunity to take stock of your overall financial situation and make sure you're taking advantage of all the benefits and support programs available to you. Did you know that many seniors don't claim all the benefits they're entitled to? It's true. There are numerous federal, provincial, and even municipal programs designed to support seniors, but many go unclaimed simply because people aren't aware of them. That's why I'm passionate about what we do here at Canada Benefit Hub. Our mission is to empower Canadian seniors with the knowledge and tools they need to maximize their financial well-being. Whether it's understanding complex benefit programs, navigating the tax system, or finding ways to stretch your retirement dollars, we're here to help. And that brings me to an exciting announcement. In the coming weeks, we'll be launching a new series on this channel focused specifically on uncovering hidden benefits for seniors. We'll be diving deep into lesser-known programs and benefits that could potentially add hundreds or even thousands of dollars to your annual income. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on this valuable information. Now, as promised at the beginning of this video, I want to share a little known trick that could potentially boost your benefits even further. It's called the GS Top Up for Low Income Seniors. Here's how it works. If you're a low income senior receiving the Guaranteed Income Supplement, you might be eligible for an additional top up benefit. This top up is available to GIST recipients who are still working and earning a small income. The government allows GIST recipients to earn up to $5,000 per year without any reduction in their GIST benefits. But here's the kicker. For every dollar earned between $5,000 and $15,000, your GIST is only reduced by 50 cents. This means that if you're able to earn some income, you could potentially increase your overall income significantly. For example, if you earned $10,000 in a year, your GIST would only be reduced by $2,500, leaving you with a net gain of $7,500. That's a substantial boost to your annual income. Of course, this strategy isn't for everyone. It depends on your individual circumstances, health, and desire to work. But for those who are able and willing to earn some income in retirement, it can be a powerful way to increase your financial security. As we wrap up this video, let's recap the key points we've covered. The Canadian government is providing enhanced one-time payments to seniors through the CPP and GS programs. Eligible seniors could receive up to $2,800 from CPP and $3,200 from GS, potentially totaling over $6,000. These payments are scheduled to be distributed next week. Eligibility is based on your current CPP and GS status. You can check your eligibility and payment details through your My Service Canada account or by calling Service Canada. Consider using this money wisely to improve your overall financial health. These payments won't affect your eligibility for other benefits. While these are one-time payments, they highlight the importance of understanding and maximizing your retirement benefits. Stay tuned for our upcoming series on uncovering hidden benefits for seniors. Consider strategies like the GS Top Up for low-income seniors to potentially boost your overall income. Remember, Knowledge is power when it comes to your finances. The more you understand about the benefits available to you, the better positioned you'll be to enjoy a secure and comfortable retirement. I hope you found this information helpful and empowering. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with any seniors or soon-to-be seniors in your life who might benefit from this information. And don't forget to subscribe to Canada Benefit Hub for more valuable insights on Canadian government benefits and financial support programs. This is Daniel, signing off. Remember, your financial well-being is important, and you deserve to make the most of every benefit available to you. Until next time, take care and stay financially savvy, Canada.